GLM team is on a roll. Yesterday they released this vision model and today they have come up with this TTS model. While we all wait for their air model release, I think this TTS model is unique in a sense that it combines the brain of a large language model, the precision of flow matching and the emotional intelligence of multi-reward RL to deliver studio quality, emotionally rich, instantly clonable, streaming ready speech and now it's fully open source for everyone to play with. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we are going to test it out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Also, please follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any fluff, without hype. What I'm going to do, I'm going to straight up start the installation while we talk more about this model. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mass Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Next, let's git clone the repo of GLM TTS and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And then we can install all the requirements from the root of the repo. This is going to take few minutes. While that happens, let's talk a bit more around this model because I think um, GLM team has done something really cool here. GLM TTS is a next generation text to speech system that feels almost magically natural as per their card. It works in two clean steps. First, what happens is a powerful LLM and same from the GLM family reads your text and decides exactly how the sentence should sound, which includes pauses, rhythm, emotion, everything then turns that idea into a sequence of speech tokens. Think of these tokens as musical notes for speech. Some are normal sounds like you can see green circles, some mark the start of audio and one special token E says I am done. There is even a tiny prompt wave that can just be 3 to 10 seconds of anyone's voice, letting the model instantly clone that speaker without any retraining. Zero shot voice cloning has never been this easy, in my opinion, at least um, what they say on their card, but we will test it out. After the LLM finishes writing its speech token score, a second model called flow matching takes over. It's like an artist who turns rough sketches into a perfect painting. The tokens become a smooth, high quality MEL spectrogram, which then goes through a vocoder to become real waveform audio you can hear. Because the LLM can stream tokens out one by one, the whole system supports real-time streaming. You see the words appear and hear the voice speak almost at the same time. It works great in Chinese, handles English mixed sentences, and even lets you feed raw phonemes when you need perfect pronunciation for tricky words or polyphones. Another cool thing is that an what makes the sound so alive is the secret sauce reinforcement learning with multiple rewards. Instead of just training the model to sound correct, they have added a bunch of smart judges, which is reward model, that score every generated clip for similarity to the reference code and voice. They have also controlled, controlled low character error rate, natural emotion, prosody, even whether laughter sounds real. And these scores are combined in a very clever way and fed back to the LLM using an uh, GRPU algorithm. So the model literally learns to chase higher happiness point from all these judges at once. So the final voice doesn't just read, it performs. So this is what this new TTS model is. Let's go back to the terminal and see uh, where the requirements are and everything is installed. Let's now do the inference. Now for the inference, let's first create a directory called as ckpt. And after that, let's simply install Hugging Face Hub library. And then I'm downloading this Jaifu model, the GLMTTS in my local directory. Let's run this. 
okay so it has installed it uh, the reason being and i'll tell you what it means it means that this command is no longer available because they have changed the sucking face cli to hf download so let me now run that and the model is now being downloaded let's wait and the model is now downloaded now for the inference they have provided this python script or you can run it through bash i'm going to run this uh, inference script from their repo they also have given some examples so because it picks up the text to be uh, converted into speech from these files so first up because this comes with chinese and english so i'm going to try with chinese first so this is the chinese there are 10 lines and it would be creating 10 wave files on our local system when we run this script so let me run this also i have noticed that it is still at very bleeding edge there are a lot of warnings and errors <clears throat> so first it tries to do this tts code because uh, it tries to put it onto the gpu um, then it loads all of the models which we have grabbed and it is it fails to run it on o and nx so it f uh, falls back to the cpu so don't worry about these warnings it is still going to run it i'll just quickly show you when it starts uh, the vram consumption i mean but let's first go to that step so you see it is building all the normalizers it is also going to load the vocoder it already has loaded the speech tokenizer which i was mentioning earlier in the architecture so let's wait for it and then we get these sort of warnings so i think they are still working through it so this is one thing maybe you know uh, we would say very carefully that in their haste to release the models and just ship it as soon as possible i think uh, they are compromising on these sort of quality assurance where these things are having issues so you see model is loaded let's check the vram consumption i don't think so it is using much so it is just using under 10 gig which is not bad for the model size and it is creating these 10 wave files as i mentioned earlier and it just uh, takes under up like 10 second per speech so let's wait and then i will take you to that directory and now let's check out the output so this is the output you see there are 10 files present and then there is a text file which simply shows you the log where what the text input was if it normalized the text and if phonemes were used or not so let me play it for you what i'm going to do i'm going to just transfer it to my browser and then we will play it over there so this is the first one i'll play it here and 我看了疯狂元素城,里边水火元素谈恋爱的设定很妙 So this is the first Chinese uh, file. Now let me take you back and I will show you that text. So this is the text, let me play it again in the browser. 我看了疯狂元素城,里边水火元素谈恋爱的设定很妙 If you're a Chinese speaker, please let us know. Let me play the line 1. 自熬煮小米粥时, 奶奶习惯加入一小把西洋参片，淡淡的药香融入粥里，口感温润，特别适合熬夜后调理身体。And let me now play line number two。街上的房屋参差错落，黛瓦与砖墙相应，时光仿佛在此刻放慢了脚步。Okay, now it's much better. Let me play last line。一只超可爱的流浪猫，我给它取了一个名字。Cool. Okay, so this is a Chinese one. I really don't know if it is correct or not, so you have to tell me. Please, let's do the English one. So I'm just going to pick up this English file where this is a prompt, and then these are some of the uh, sentences which we are asking it to do. And there are some prompt file too. So they have some, these example prompt file. You can also provide your own for voice cloning. We will also try it out. But first, let's go with this. Let me clear this. And I believe this is the one for the English one. So let's run this. I will just wait for it to finish and then I will play the audio. 
and it has finished generating these are the files and it will create it in the english example folder by the way and then let me just take you here i will just scroll to the right and i will show you i will play it in the browser and then you can read through from here so let me first play I this file i thought the bitterness of death had been passed and that this would be nothing like the first okay so this is the accent not bad Let's do the number one. Let me play that. One of the key contributors to the economic slowdown is the decline in the manufacturing sector. If you need anything, you can always come to Joey. I didn't catch her name. The supermarket is about eight kilometers from my home. Turn up the phone volume a bit. For homework, please finish exercise three on page 45. Raise your hand if you understand. He saw a rabbit with very long legs hopping down their street. You have three minutes to finish this exercise. Yeah, so not bad, but at times it feels a bit monotonous. Okay, so now let me see another example. Okay, for the voice cloning, I'm going to use this script where I'm just giving it my own voice. And let me run this to show you where it is. Um, I'm specifying the voice. So this is the prompt text and the speech and the WAV file which I wanted to use and I have just kept it short like thanks so much love you all something like that but you can of course prolong it the sentence as I showed you earlier and it is going to follow the same process as it is doing. So let's wait for it to finish and then I will take you uh, and we will play it. And it is almost done. There you go. So if I take you to my um, directory, you see this is where it has created this file. Let me play it in the browser and then we will check what it did here. Okay, so I have moved the output file to the browser. Let me first play the reference file. This is my own voice. Joy is found in simple moments of gratitude and true contentment comes when we truly value the small blessings we already have in life. So make sure that reference audio is around 5 to 11 seconds. And now let me play this one, the output file. So much, love you all. So much, love you all. So for some weird reason, when we do the voice cloning, that is all two second audio it generates, nothing more than that. I have tried it multiple times with longer sentences too, but this is all it is doing at the moment. Maybe some issue with their code or something like that or some uh, other things in their inference script, but that is what it is at the moment. As I said, I think they have released it quite hastily. The model looks quite good as you just saw. The TTS is quite good. Voice cloning, I think they need to improve in terms of length. But the actual cloning, if you just compare the voices, they were quite good. But at the same time, I think this TTS and voice cloning has come such a long way in the last couple of years that I think even GLM team has to do much, much better. Uh, I think the point where they can shine is maybe make it multilingual from bilingual plus increase the length of the cloned audio. But other than that, I think a good effort. Let me know what do you think about it. Again, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. Please also follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates. Thank you for all the support.